Could these burials be evidence of belief in God? Anthropologist Harvey Whitehouse is trying to get inside the heads of these early city dwellers. So this is a pretty authentic mock-up of what a typical kind of house in Chateau would have looked like. These are the kinds of objects that we'd expect to find in one of those houses. Over here, we've got examples of wall art. You know, here we've got bull heads. We often find uh, these inserted into the walls. In one case, I've seen them arranged almost like a sort of protective shield around one of these clean spaces. And we know that these clean spaces were used for sleeping on. So, Harvey, you're an anthropologist. Mm -hmm. So you're more into what people are mentally into, right? Well, my imagination runs riot in an environment like this because I've seen the kind of stuff that comes out of the walls and that they've been taking out of the floors. We know that there were very interesting rituals surrounding uh, the burial of human remains, but those objects uh, would be periodically, in many cases, brought out. What they were doing with them, we don't really know, but in many cases, they were put back very carefully and replaced. It's almost as if this isn't just a domestic dwelling, this is like a kind of living temple. Who used that word? <laughs> temple. Temple. Well, what is a temple? you know, if not a sort of uh, an environment in which uh, the ritual life of a community is conducted. And, and I think that's what is going on in these houses. Here in Chattanooga, there were obviously all kinds of rituals, particularly burial rituals, but no sign of an organized religion. So the question remains, unanswered for me. Did religion allow man to live together, grow food? Or did civilization give rise to our belief in God? 